Hello and welcome to another accounting tutorial where in this session we'll be diving into the annual accounting scheme. This is a topic that could be examined within the tax processes for business unit when looking at specialised schemes. So let's break it down and take a closer look at how it works. Although the majority of businesses within the UK are on the standard VAT scheme, meaning that they submit a VAT return quarterly and therefore complete four returns a year, there are a further three schemes that HMRC offer designed for smaller businesses. These schemes are the cash accounting scheme, flat rate scheme and annual accounting scheme. I'll be covering the cash accounting and flat rate schemes in a separate video, but for now, let's take a focused look into the annual accounting scheme. A business can join the scheme if its estimated taxable turnover is 1.35 million or less. However, the business must leave the scheme if its taxable turnover has or is likely to exceed 1.6 million at the end of the annual accounting year. Both of these are taxable turnover figures that are exclusive of VAT. Under the annual accounting scheme, a business will submit only one return per year. Although there is only one VAT return completed each year, there will actually be 10 payments made to HMRC related to the financial year you're working on. These payments are made in advance throughout the financial year and will start from month four through to month 12. The amounts to be paid will be 10% of the previous year's VAT liability for the first nine payments and then a balance in payment or refund would be made on the 10th payment. Let's say that your financial year runs from January through to December and the previous year's VAT liability was 16,000. 10% of the liability would therefore be 1,600. Nine payments of 1,600 would be paid to HMRC from April, i.e. month four, through to December being month 12. This would equate to the business paying £14,400 over a nine month period. The business would then calculate the VAT liability for the year and the 10th payment would be the difference between what had already been paid throughout the year and the calculated VAT liability. So for example, if the VAT liability was calculated to be 20,000 for the year, the balancing payment would be 5,600. Let's now have a look at another example. A business financial year runs from September through to August. The previous year's VAT liability was £24,000. So the first step would be to calculate the monthly payment amounts. This will be calculated as £24,000 divided by 10, giving you £2,400. Next, we need to calculate which months this will be paid in. Remember, this needs to be months four through to 12. So if the financial year runs from September to August, the fourth month would therefore be December to make the first payment, followed by eight further payments through to August. This would make nine payments of £2,400 equal to 21600 The VAT liability for the year has been calculated as £26,700. The 10th and balancing payment would therefore be calculated as £26,700 less what had been paid of £21,600 to give you £5,100 to be paid. Let's now have a look at a further example where the business would be eligible for a refund. A business's financial year runs from April through to March. The previous year's VAT liability was £89,000. The first step would be to calculate the monthly amounts. This would be calculated as 89,000 divided by 10 to give you 8,900. Next, we need to calculate which months this would be paid in. Remember, this needs to be months four through to 12. So if the financial year runs from April to March, the fourth month would therefore be July to make the first payment, followed by eight further payments through to March. This would make nine payments of £8,900 equal to 80100 The VAT liability for the year has been calculated as 76500 
As you can see, the business has paid more to HMRC than what the VAT liability has been calculated as for the year. When it then came to submitting the VAT return and what would usually be the 10th payment, the business would be able to reclaim for the difference between what had been paid and the VAT liability. In this example, that would be 80,100 less 76,500 to give the business a reclaim amount of 3,600 pounds. This would be paid to the business from HMRC. And that wraps up how a business operates and calculates VAT under the annual accounting scheme. I hope you found this video useful and if you have, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more AAT content. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.